This is by far the easiest, greatest drill. If, okay, three drills, BJ, to get people really good at their short game. If they're only able to do these three things, they're gonna be ahead of the game, is what BJ said on almost everybody else that's uh, practicing. So this is BJ Doucette. I'll put his resume here, it's insane. And uh, he's a really, really good short game coach here in Southern California. So what is the first thing you like to, if somebody like has half an hour to practice their short game, what would you like to see them doing? So if it was a half an hour, um, for me, I have all my players play, like go to their local short game area and play nine holes. And, and play nine holes chipping. Um, drops only, two balls, keep score. And, and realistically, if you're not going to be able to putt on that chipping green, I would just give every one putt inside of a club length, right? And you're going to dance around with these two golf balls. We'll simulate one, but um, we're always dropping. So no, no fluffing just because we have to play the ball down. And I see it too much when people are practicing. I'm guilty of it myself. Toss this thing up on a really nice lie. I'm like, man, what's the rare, yeah. like what's how often am I gonna get that That's one, good. right? Yeah. So roll it, whatever, random lie, hit the chip shot to the hole, another one, drop it, hit it to the hole. If you, want, if you can't putt, I would say inside of the one club length, give yourself the putt. If it's inside 10 feet, two putt, whatever, move on. Yeah. Um, play nine holes, keep score. Always keep scoring, try to beat your best. That's a great one for, for me because you're simulating playing. And so let's see, like if you were practicing, you know, that one there yep, and you're, one. you're doing your nine hole game. Nine hole game. So I would play this one. Wow. And that's a 60 degree. That's a 60. As low as yep. that is. Yeah. We did yep. another video where he talks about how you can deal off the 60 without. Um, yep. So that right there, I'd just give myself a two putt and move on. And yeah. in reality, if you can putt it out, putt it out. Uh, Cause you're gonna also simulate putting, which is great. But this would be my number one because you're randomizing lies and you're gonna dance around, never hit the two, same two shots. You're gonna play nine holes. Right. Um, some rough, some bunkers, uh, short ones, some medium ones, short sided ones. Yep. Um, and write down where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are. The, the, the power of tracking and being consistent on knowing your strengths and weaknesses, I think is what got me much better. I'm, I was always very proficient on the easy ones. I always struggled with the high soft ones. So I knew I had to, in my next nine holes, maybe do five or six high soft ones, three easy ones or three medium. Gotcha. We always still have to be proficient in the easy up and downs where you have more green to work with um, and less grass to cover. Okay, drill number two. Drill number two. So for this one, um, the two balls would be randomized for a game. I like chipping mainly with two balls. If I'm going to work on technique, all good. Bring a shag bag out, technique. So the long, soft, right-hand only drill for most players will help low point control. So you're going to get same chipping with... Why do you say long, soft? Long, soft is just going to make sure that we're not jerking the handle. So just letting the club head do the work. You, and I think you've seen enough golfers as I have, um, that when they get into a chip shot, they like to really drive the handle, right? Yeah. So if you're feeling the weight of the club and getting the club head to throw back and throw through, you're going to feel, start to use the bounce, right? And the bounce is, everybody says, our friend. If I do one-handed of just this one, you'll see how long, slow that is. I'm not yeah. really accelerating anything but the club head in the center of the mass of the club. Um, it's a great one to do for the right-handed. This is, if you struggle with a high soft one, this is by far the easiest, greatest drill. If, if you want, then you can start to throw the left hand on it, maybe even just throw it on the side, keep the right hand going on it, oh, yeah. and then start throwing it on to, for your technique. Mike, film that face on that, that, so do one right hand only, and then do one in that kind of, yep. uh, So you go right hand only, left arm here, turn turn then start to just throw it on the side still feel the right arm being dominant turn turn and i mean i have some gut players that they'll even throw it with a putting grip for the high soft one so they can feel the right hand even more and the left one's just kind of on as a guide hand and they'll get it real long and they hit the long high ones even better with the putting grip which is interesting to me it I just think quiets down the quiets left. Quiets down the left. Yeah, some guys. We were saying in our other video that 
the low, the left hand only shot is always going to come out a yeah. little more pinched and lower. Correct. And if the I right did, hand one's going to be more released. If I did higher. one left handed one, which I'm not the greatest at because I don't train it, you see how low and spinny that comes out. Yeah. That's a great one for a low one. And try, train them both. I just don't think you can, I don't think you can do enough one handed drills for chipping, in my opinion. Okay. You're just get, getting a, a good understanding of what's going on with the club and how it feels in your hand. Um, yeah, that's it. That's good. <laughs> it's it, it, that's my favorite drill. Let's go to our, our third and final thing. Yeah, let's go up to this top of this hill. Start to randomize some more lies here. Yeah. Last thing that I would really encourage people to do is challenge themselves with all sorts of different lies. Um, and the reasoning is, is because each lie is going to require something different. Um, that lie is going to come out a lot different than this one. Yeah. It's also going to take out, it's going to actually take a completely different technique for each of them um, to be able to hit the shot that we want for the right distance. Um, and the reason I say that, this one will dig even quicker. This one I can kind of shallow and it'll kind of pop up in the air. This one, not a lot of people are afraid of. This one, everybody's a little bit of afraid of, right? So ball's kind of sitting down, a lot of grass here. Digging through the dirt of just figuring out a way to, to do it is great. Um, having somebody that's able to show you different types of shots, it's great. I mean, there's a lot of good players that have all sorts of shots, but I think the biggest skill is knowing when to choose that type of shot, like right. choosing the appropriate shot for this one and this one. I, I could hit this shot. I'll figure it out on the fifth or sixth shot, but can I choose that right shot that one time? So you have to just do it a lot. Um, so this type of shot. Yeah, this one's sitting down a little sitting bit more down. and we can't let it roll out too much. Yeah, so we're, it's gonna be a little higher softer shot. So higher softer for me is gonna be just a little bit more open. When they're down, um, this is true for a lot of Bermuda as well. Um, we still need to steepen our angle of attack this way. We still have to get our chest more over our left foot. What the difference is, is I get to on this, get to leave it down i don't get to sweep it and keep going okay. if i kind of pop it kind of get it down there it comes oh, yeah. out pretty high and soft that's great and i mean i took a pretty big backswing there i don't we don't need that's my me testing and playing around with it a lot it's not really short stroke it's hey get some speed leave it down there and it pops it up in the air. This one's gonna be a lot different. But on that one, if somebody had kind of manufactured a, hey, I need to finish and try to rip through it, that's where more flubs, thins, or, or one, just leaving yeah, it here. 100%, okay. yeah, and it, that, that one, most likely if I kept going, my club wouldn't have been going down enough, so it would have hit back here and then popped up and sculled it, or I would have slid right underneath it, it would have went I like that. Three, my friend feet. Tim would hit, the, hit those shots and they would come out like real soft, yep. and he would call it a stopper. You just yep. go here and exactly exactly yeah. and that's one of my favorites that's cool we have a lot of bermuda where so i'm here's at a, so here's a pretty awesome lie yeah this is a great one you can do a lot of things with this one you can choose yeah. to hit the low spinner um you can choose to play the high soft one but you, as you can see when i'm coming up to this shot i'm asking myself is it on the ground do i need to use the bounce yeah and i this one i don't like it's kind of high i got a little bit of grass back there so i get to be a little bit more rounded rounded follow through weight still left little bit open face comes out pretty soft and oh, yeah. you can see how i still Great took guy. a little bit of grass it's still moving down but i don't need to like leave it down there i'm just going to continually make my turn that's awesome so good all right so recapping here the first thing play nine holes and really keep score and keep even like a little diary of what you're good at what you need need to work on and that way the next time you play the game you can start to like curate the game for like you specifically. Absolutely. Second part was right hand only. We did another video. Make sure that you, uh, there's reasons, but make sure that you put the other hand on your trail arm yeah. when you're doing that. And then third, go out and, to, and th throw some balls around into the rough and be like, okay, I'm not trying to be second team All-American. I'm trying to be first team All-American. Right. Do it good the first time. If you guys want to see more about BJ, the best way to connect with him is on Instagram. He has a, uh, his Instagram is listed below and he's teaching in Orange County, California in between uh, all these different Monday qualifiers and Corn Ferry qualifiers and other things like that because he's still actively playing quite a bit. Thanks right. for watching. Bye.